Hi everyone, I recently had a question asking can I show list item attachments on a task form in Nintex workflow for Office 365. Now, before we had new responsive, I would have said no, you cannot. Um, I think some people have some JavaScript um, kind of hacks, I guess, in old, sorry, in classic. Um, we don't really recommend or support JavaScript. However, in new responsive, we do now allow you to see attachments in task forms. So I've got my dummy data list here and I've got Edith Dreamer. So if I go to Edith Dreamer, you can see if I open up this item, I've just used uh, out of the box SharePoint. You could have a Nintex form on here. It doesn't really matter too much for this example because we're really talking about Nintex workflow for Office 365 task forms. So we've got uh, the title is number three. Uh, actually, I might just change her name. I might say it's called Edith. Uh, oops, made a mistake. Dreamer, update that, and then she's got an attachment which is my profile. So we've got Edith Dreamer sitting there, um, that's an item there. Now, what we want to do is show the attachments on your responsive. So classic and old responsive, you can't see the attachments when you're going to approve an item. So I've gone ahead and built a workflow already, uh, which has two task forms on it. And so one is old responsive and one is new responsive. So just to explain how this works, I guess, in, in, in SharePoint, it has a list where the data comes into. And when you're running a workflow to say, I want to approve ETH Dreamer as a piece of content, it actually creates a task in the workflow task list. So if you go to site contents, you'll see I've got my dummy data list. And I've also got my workflow tasks. So if you click into workflow tasks, this is where it's going and creating these tasks. So you can see here I've already got another, I've already done a a, um, a previous example of this. Uh, so if I go to my workflow example of tasks, each task will put an item into that workflow task list. Now, if we open up this workflow, uh, we've got old and new responsive tasks once it opens. So this is old responsive and it has a section at the top which is the columns for this. So the columns for this um, this list. So when you're approving it goes back into this list and it's got title, name, description, comments and the outcome as well. Now if we scroll down it's then also got the original item. So we, what we had before Edith Dreamer, Edith Dreamer, email and her IP address. Now we don't have the ability to say, so if I had said list columns, these are the columns you see in here, but it doesn't actually support attachments. You come into task columns, you could put the attachments on there, but again, those attachments are going to be visible from here, which isn't super useful. However, if we go across to new responsive, so if we cancel this, go to new responsive, go to our task form, and so it does uh, have, if we scroll down, the attachments control. So this attachments control will actually read the attachments from the list form. So this is the related list form we're talking about, or list, uh, the related list. Uh, so this is the task and this is the list and you have the attachments here. Now, this is always read only. So when you're approving a, a, a task, you can't add more attachments. You can't remove attachments. This is purely just to see the attachments that were added when that item was created and you're making an approval on that item. So that's that's the two task actions. So just be mindful that only new responsive supports this, closing that for a moment. And we've got our two tasks here. So here's the old responsive one I just completed earlier. So I've opened this up. It purely just shows me, so I proved this before, but it's got um, the task name, description, comments, the task outcome, and it's got the fields around Edith, Dreamer, and so on and so forth. Now, when we ran the new responsive, however, and we're looking at uh, Edith Dreamer, which had my profile photo on it. The task columns come up, and which is fine. I can approve or reject, so I'm going to approve it. And we've got title Edith, Edith Dreamer, female, IP address, but also we can see the attachments. Now, if I was to click on this, well, let's click on it. There's my profile photo. So that's actually come from the uh, item here. So, if, so we've got Edith, uh, Edith Dreamer, female, IP address, and the attachment. So now, in new responsive, you can actually see the attachments on the task form. 
So that's all we have for today. Um, hopefully you find this useful. Let me know in the comments. Cheers.